Hello, Mr. Zonker here, and this video is on the Pythagorean Theorem. And this is a theorem that applies to all right triangles. We call the short sides of a right triangle the legs, and we reference them with the variables a and b. And the long side across from the right angle we represent with c, and it's known as the hypotenuse. And whenever you have an, a right triangle, you can set up the equation a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Let's do a couple examples where we find the missing side length of a triangle. Here we have a right triangle with legs 5 and 24, and the hypotenuse is x. We can set up the equation a squared, 5 squared, plus b squared, 24 squared, equals our hypotenuse squared, x squared. From there, we could evaluate the squares, 5 squared is 25, plus 24 squared, 576, equals x squared. And if we combine those together, we will get 25 plus 576 equals 601. And to solve this, we can actually take the square root of both sides, which would give us uh, a side length of square root of 601. And if we plug that into our calculator, we will get approximately 24.5. In this next example, it looks like we have a missing side length that is a leg. That's okay, we can still set up the same equation. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. That would be 8 squared plus y squared equals 12 squared. Evaluating those squares will leave us with 64 plus y squared equals 144. From here, we need to isolate that y squared term. So we can subtract 64 from both sides of the equation. And that's going to leave us with y squared equals 80. 144 minus 64 is 80. And just like in the last problem, we can take the square root of both sides of the equation and we'll get a side length or a y value of the square root of 80, which is approximately 8.9. One cool way we can use the Pythagorean theorem is to find the distance between two points. What we want to do is draw a right triangle and then use that Pythagorean theorem. Here we have two points, 3, 2, and 7, 8. What we're going to do is draw a right triangle between those points just like that. And if we count those spaces, we can say, hey, this is 1, 2, 3, 4. My vertical distance is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if I label those 4 and 6, I can set up a right triangle and develop this equation here, 4 squared plus 6 squared equals x squared, where x is my distance. And this is something that we'll be able to solve. If we do that, 52 equals x squared, square rooting both sides, we'll get a final length of square root of 52. And I'm going to leave my answer as a root this time, but you can always get the decimal by using a calculator. Lastly, we can use our good friend, the Pythagorean theorem, to help us solve real world problems. Let's do an example. An oak tree is 15 feet tall, and a bird is standing on the ground 8 feet from the tree. If the bird flies directly to the top of the tree, how far will it fly? First, we want to draw a diagram. All right, I'm going to pause the video real quick and draw that, and I'll see you in a second. All right, there we go. Not my best work, but I was, I was rushing a little bit. That's okay. So we know this tree is 15 feet tall. We also know that the bird is standing 8 feet from the base. Check this out. If we connect that distance that the bird's going to be flying directly to the tree, we can see that we formed a right triangle. And we want to find this distance, so that's going to be our variable. From there, we can easily set up an equation, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, which will be 15 squared plus 8 squared equals x squared. We're not going to solve that here, but if we did, we would find that distance that the bird would need to fly to get to the top of the tree. All right, I hope this video was helpful.